Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising monthly tarot reading for December 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to once again remind you guys that this is just a general reading for Pisces star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services and their pricings as well. And as this is December, the month of celebrations, there is a Christmas sale going on and uh, basically what that sale does it's uh, the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes personal reading with me are abated so um, <clears throat> if you do want uh, your situation to be discussed just like I'm giving uh, and discussing the examples in this um, in this general reading uh, this is the way to go with a, a personal one also if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month uh, you can obtain the extended monthly tarot reading from our website for just $1.49 and in this extended video we are to focus specifically on career and relationship for the representative star sign so <clears throat> Excuse me. So that being said, going to the general layout here, the first card for you, Pisces, which is marking the topic of uh, your month, that is going to be the Emperor card. So the Emperor is about obtaining control and it is about exerting uh, structure and power and systemizing your responsibilities, you know, and in generally ruling with an iron hand upon your relationship or upon your career. And in that specific grand scheme of things, the Emperor does point that you are to organize a, a huge amount of of force if I may express it that way and just to give you an example are uh, the uh, enterprises like projects you know or activities into your relationship or even a friendship circle and etc etc are very chaotic by that very moment with with your performance and with your iron hand here presence as well and leadership qualities that you do possess Pisces you are to obtain control and to make it a much much more structural than it is at that specific um, at, that, at that specific moment so just to give you an example here you know maybe uh, relationship wise let's go with the relationship wise until now you know your partner in relationship is doing whatever they want and it's simply you know they don't uh, count you as thing as a thing in uh, in that relationship itself or well, in the month of December you are going to prove them wrong you are going to most likely sw slam with your fistful upon the table and really um, make them listen to what you have to say and obey to the rules that you want to be followed into that relationship same goes career wise and that card at uh, the Emperor here <coughs> here excuse me also could be a, a sign that you will be assigned as a leader to a project or you are to establish a, a leadership position in your social circle as well where many people are to depend on you but in the grand scheme of things the emperor points that this is going to be a month where you will have to take a responsibility for the enterprises that you are pushing forward so the next card which is the intentions or what you can do with the very strong energy here of the emperor that will be the knight of uh, swords the prince of swords or in the traditional tarot deck that is going to be the knight of swords so this card points that you need to press very very hard so the way i see it in this uh, in this reading you are now being from the outsider either into your career or either into your relationship now you are the leading force and what you are doing as you are the leading force you are pressing even harder forward in order to overcome the obstacles that until this very moment were impossible to be over to be overcome because you simply did not have the structure and the power in order to do it now you need to know however that this also uh, kind of like exerts a, a very busy routine throughout the month 
here as you will have to manage multiple things at time either into your relationship or either into your career and the prince of swords or the knight of swords itself it does speaks that you will be required to make decisions with the snap of your finger so these are swift very quick decisions regarding projects you know or regarding activities as well into your relationship where many things are to depend on them and this is exactly where the responsibility comes around but in the same time you know doing being with with such a behavior where you kind of like exert confidence and you are giving the others to see that you will simply not allow things to go by unnoticed and unattended by you also that gives you the um, how can I place it uh, it gives you the power here you know to uh, to alter outcomes and as well to how can I place it to be the one who points the finger with those decisions that you need to uh, that you need to make and the crises that you will have to manage in some cases one thing I want to mention here as well is that those decisions whatever you are to to uh, to decide needs to be as well consulted with your emotions in other words you should stick to your logic but in the same time that logic needs to be supported with what you feel if uh, there is a, a lack of synergy in between both then most likely whatever you are to decide it is a, a trap and you should withdraw uh, your initia initiative in this activity until the situation become much more clearer the challenges which are causing predicaments for you throughout the month Pisces that is to be the hermit card so the hermit card it is a, a very um, how can I place it convincing narrative that you are will be um, asked to follow now huge displacement here and huge lack of synergy in between these couple of cards it kind of makes me think that some of those decisions are going to be manipulated by the people around you to be taken from you and that is really sad and poignant because as I said at the end you are to be the only one bearing the consequences of that and as you are to be manipulated to do and to take those decisions for the behalf of others that means that if there is something to be gained from it they are to be the one to be the beneficiant but if there is a lot to be lose to be lost you are to be the one who loses all right because they are to point you uh, with their finger and say you know he is the one who made us do it or he is the one she is the one who did it and etc etc so very important here when we do have the hermit in a negative position is to be wise is to be intelligent and is and not to allow people to basically take advantage of your emotional state as we said here that you have to as well consult your actions with your emotions you know but in the same time you should not allow people to take advantage of your um of your emotions and that way to to manipulate your decisions that could be as well a decision where you decide you know to leave your relationship all right but in the same time your partner manipulates you with the statement that they you know are gonna take their own lives because this is a, a very common nowadays and i simply cannot comprehend why people are to keep you around with such a statement and with such a threat but in the same time there is a a, a multiple uh, kind of like examples of that in my life you know and the people that I am friend with and etc etc and uh, you need to know here that you cannot be held responsible for someone else's actions all right that's first thing and being intelligent um, you should kind of like first thing that you need to do to do is just withdraw from the situation the way you can so you can analyze your emotions and by you doing so and being intelligent about it you are going to see that this thing if we are following that example with the suicide threat, uh, threat here uh, this thing will repeat itself in the future if you allow that person to uh, to manipulate you through your emotions so you have to be kind of stone cold when it comes to the direction you want to take uh, in your life uh, and the next card is going to be the guidance the guidance that you should follow throughout the month we do have the two of cups here so the two of cups points to a uh, first thing that you need to follow the law of everything that you need to do 
uh, in this month should be through um, should be provoked from the sense of love again we do have following your emotions and that's why the hermit as there is a, a big synergy in between these couple of cards you should be extremely careful of manipulation all right especially from those that you love because they may use that love to manipulate you to take a decisions for them or to bear the consequences for them which is the last thing that you want to do but at the same time the two of cups here as a advice as a guidance asks you to surround yourself only with people who are making you feel comfortable and you should not oblige yourself to spend time with those who are finding uh, you know annoying and aggravating just so because you know you can make them feel a little bit better now you need to know that you are the emperor here throughout this month that is your card Pisces and you are to be the one who calls the shots all right and as this is a, a great responsibility it is also a, a great amount of power the emperor can, a, is not told what the emperor does the emperor tells what is to be done so um, I can only advise you here looking at these cards you know to put on a, a poker face and step where you belong on the throne of the universe because this is what you are this is your place throughout that month with all the benefits and with all the pros excuse me and the cons that comes with uh, such a uh, with such a, a high power if I may express myself that way and also here the two of cups asks you for sincerity and being candorous with your words uh, and with your statements as well you know if you don't like something you need to say it if you don't if you do if you like something as well you also need to say it for example if you like a, a person but they don't know about it nothing will harm you you know to approach them and to tell how you feel because even if you are denied right at least you will know the truth and you will have your closure and you will move on from it the last card that we do have this is the final outcome for you and that will be the princess of pentacles so the very generic interpretation of that card as a follow-up is that you are to indulge yourself even deeper with someone that you already know for those who are single that could be a friend of yours who has a um more than a friendship emotions towards you or it could be you as i said that has more than a friendship emotions toward them as and as you are uncovering yourself in front of them here with uh with these three cards you know taking the decisions that you need the decision that you need to do it because this is how it goes with the harmony with your emotions withdrawing just so you can define your emotions not giving yourself away to the manipulation that you are not good enough and sharing you know your feelings with that person the page of pentacles here points that the things in between you and that person are, are only gonna go war warmer but the page of pentacles it does represent a, a long-term thriving goal you know it could be the, the the new thriving relationship it could be a, a thriving project as well or a thriving friendship it does the depend on your personal situation but always going to be based on how you how strong you will stand and how serious you will look that you are ready to take a responsibilities for your actions and that you want something mature and something uh, long lasting than uh, something temporary and something exciting so that being said, Pisces, this was your monthly tarot reading for December 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, um, this was just a general reading for Pisces star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings in the cards and their synergy in the spread. But... Um, it falls to you at the end to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to align cards for your personal situation just like i did here with the examples uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and as it is the month of december again there is a december sale or christmas sale going on which basically makes the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes abated and this is the way you go if you want to save some money so rat signing out now see you next time bye